very strong. <laughs> um, I just want to say that I love, I'm glad you picked this scene. Dinner scenes are so wonderful to edit, I think, because you can just fit in so much. And then on top of the dinner scene, you have the end of the world. What more can you want? <laughs> so anybody can chime in, by the way, with questions or anything for Hank, but talk about the scene. Wow. Uh, it's very personal to me. I mean, I put, I put my wedding video in there. My, my lovely wife, Nancy, is here. Uh, yeah, you know, I, there was, for me, cutting it, a, I was working in COVID times and plague times, and there was a sense of dread and a sense of awe, you know, and I'm, I'm awed by the universe. I'm awed by, by single-celled animals. The complexity of human thought, and, um, and and the quest for spirituality, and and you know some people look look for religion. Some people are very singular, and you know I think we all have like this limbic brain that um, it's like just pure emotion and pure chemical. Whether whether we're uh, or whales or humans. And so I wanted to show the sense of, of commonality uh, that, that, that unites the universe. It's almost like, it's almost like in, in a film way, kind of a godhead. Uh, and you know, it's interesting. I've heard that people think I made mistakes when I put the little freeze frames. Uh, they were not mistakes. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's like I was, I, they were like these, I wanted to crystallize these moments, these almost innocuous moments, because any moment that, that, that can be so pedestrian, prosaic, can be just so special. And these, are, these, these little moments were like a time capsule of, of you know, if they, if they were like some kind of universal intelligence, they would remember these things. I got a question. Yeah. Uh, how did you, um, I'm assuming some of that footage is, is shot and some of it's found or different sources. What was your process in terms of finding some of that stuff or, or collecting some of that stuff while you, before you whittled it down to what it is? You know, I, I, I'm a very reactive editor. You know, so as I work, I'll tell uh, one of my lovely crew and some of them are here. I think we have, I think I saw Sarah Russell and Michael Schusterman and Andrew Lanchi. These guys are unbelievable. But, you know, we'll just, we'll just, I'll ask them to, to, to pull me, to pull me like, like the representation of chemical synapses. And I'll, I'll go looking for them as well. You know, because I, I realize that some of my requests are a little nutty. Um, but, you know, that's, that's pretty much how it worked. You know, so I, it's not like I had this, this vast collection because I didn't know what the fuck I was going to do. Right, yeah. <laughs> Where do you start with that? Yeah. yeah. yeah what, what evolution was the music in that scene? You know, it's interesting because um, Nick Bertel composed it. The, uh, the first piece of music in there was supposed to be the opening of the film. And right now, if you see the opening of the film, it's a little fast, it's a little comedic. And when I was first cutting the movie, it was, I wanted the opening to be, to have the same, the same valence, the same emotional weight as the ending. So that, ultimately, Adam wanted to, Adam wanted to keep it much lighter. He did want to get to know the characters up front as, as, as much as I did. You know, so we ended up using that music as 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 the uh, the climax of it. And how much rearranging did you do in the movie? I mean, it rearranging of music. Or of, no, of the scenes uh, of the structure of the movie. Oh my goodness! Um, the movie was really complex because we had, I mean, we have a movie that ends that way, but it's considered a comedy, uh, and. We, we had this one Oval Office 
scene, the first Oval Office scene, where you had these incredible actors uh, just trying to one up each other. So we were we were always attenuating that scene because we wouldn't even know how the film would play like 40 fin five minutes down the line. Um, and um, so I we were constantly I was constantly recutting that scene uh, and. I, structurally, it, it pretty much stayed the same, you know, but just in, in, in different uh, incarnations. The, the whole movie, yeah. the whole movie stayed pretty much as scripted. Well, we knew, well, we knew where it was going to begin and we knew where it was going to end and everything else was up for grabs. Yeah. <laughs> what, what more do we need? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.